Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I'm gonna do a small haul and then I'm going to go into some favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a while, so I figured now that we're into the fall season, I guess I could do a fall favorites video, even though technically I use these things all year round. But let's go ahead and start with the little haul. Now I went to Walmart this morning because I had to pick up some things. And of course, I <laughs> walked through the, I guess it's like the home office slash crafting and paper section. And I found this gorgeous holographic journal. Now you can see it says amazing things can happen and it is so, so pretty. Now it's a lined journal, which I don't particularly care for. But because the outside was so gorgeous, I just had to have it. I think the journal was like six, six or seven dollars, somewhere in that range. And I had never seen this brand, at least not at my Walmart. It says a uh, creative you do it yourself journal to do slash notes. And then it's made by Horizon Group. Like I said, I had never seen this particular brand at my Walmart, but the pages feel, you know, pretty average, typical, nothing spectacular. But I got drawn in by the outside, the pretty. It is so beautiful. And of course, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but you know how we are. We always want pretty journals, so... I picked this up today. Next, now I have been loving black paper everything. And I found a pack of black paper at Walmart for $2.97. You get 125 sheets. And this is paper. This is not um, cardstock. Because I was able to find black cardstock like at Michael's, but I had not been able to find black paper. So this was the last one uh, at my Walmart. It's called Black Letter, uh, eight and a half by 11 inch paper, Essentials. And again, it was $2.97. Okay, I'm trying to fix the focus on here. I hope that helped. But uh, anyways, for $2.97 at Walmart, I thought, yes, I'm going to buy this because I want to make uh, black inserts for my ringed planner. So when I figure that out, I will definitely share it with you. And the last thing I got, well, the last, I guess, paper-related thing <laughs> that I got at Walmart was this black drawing um, what is it called? Sketchbook? So it's a black paper sketchbook. And the brand is Canson. <clears throat> and it's just a sketchbook, coil bound, of black paper. Now I am getting ready to make my vision board for 2020. And I thought it would be fun to do something a little different and maybe create my vision board on black paper. So that's why I picked this up. And plus it's larger than, you know, a regular size paper. It's nine by 12. And this is thicker than paper, but not quite um, cardstock. So check your Walmart if you're interested in this. I think this was $9.97. Okay, so let's get into some of my favorites. I'll start with my planner-related favorites because I don't have too many of them. Uh, obviously, <laughs> I have been using my ring planner. This is definitely a favorite since I purchased it. I'm going to do an updated um, what I'm using in my planner rotation probably this week. So it should the video should be up this week or next week. But I have been loving... My Lux Productivity A5 Ringed Planner. This is my main everyday planner. I've been 
so happy with it very affordable very good quality and I can't say enough good things about it I will have it linked down below in case you're interested the other favorite is my little mountain bindery traveler's notebook I have been using this as my food journal food tracker it's been working really really well I've showed this in videos before and again can't say enough good things about it it's a very simple setup it only has two inserts in it uh, it's an A5 size and um, I love it so I will have a link to this shop down below in case you're interested okay now the other planner related thing oh those black notebooks got all kinds of <laughs> black dots on my table now the other favorite that has been a lot of fun for me has been a simply gilded washi tape I just started using it earlier this year I am now a convert and a fan this is my small collection here it is uh, continuing to grow I just signed up for the uh, subscription box service the quality of this washi tape is beyond fabulous um, the colors the way she does the color combinations I mean I just love it I just love the quality and I mean it's way better than you know the washi tape that comes in the the tubes at Michaels so um, that's another favorite simply gilded washi tape love it and will not stop using it okay now we're going to get into the non planner favorites more lifestyle things um, I picked this up at Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago this is actually the second one I have it is a silicone facial mask applicator now if you do face masks and if you don't like you know sticking your hand in the tub and spreading it all over your face this is a really good option and a really good alternative like I said I have two of these uh, this is my second one I picked it up at Dollar Tree and you can also use it with um, sheet masks as well so the tip is real flexible and you just scoop out the mask and you know spread it all over your face I love it and for a dollar it works really really well because I don't like sticking my hand in the tub the other favorite has been my Jackie Ina Anastasia eyeshadow palette I have been using this I love the colors I've kind of been sticking to uh, some of the same colors but if you have not tried this palette I highly suggest you do so it is so pigmented the quality the color range is really really good I absolutely love it I got mine at uh, I think Ulta I don't know if they're in stock but it's a gorgeous palette and again it's the Jackie Ina palette by Anastasia now the rest of my favorites are all from Trader Joe's surprisingly well all of them except one but um, the next thing I've been loving lifestyle related is the hyaluronic moisture boost serum now I don't know if you know but Trader Joe's has added some things to their skincare line I just tried this uh, about a month ago this is the second bottle that I have purchased and I really really love this especially if you have dry skin now I live here in Las Vegas so it's very very dry here but this is a really good serum uh, very lightweight doesn't cause any issues as far as you know my skin anyway and I really really like it and it's very affordable too I think this was only like ten dollars so if you haven't tried it I highly recommend you do so alright next from Trader Joe's I have two beverages I want to share the first one it sounds weird but it's organic sparkling apple cider apple cider <laughs> drinking vinegar the cucumber and mint flavor 
This, it sounds weird, but it is so delicious and so refreshing. I love it. Uh, one bottle is $1.99, which uh, could be a little pricey if you buy a lot, but if you're just buying a couple here and there, it's not too bad. And if you, if you drink apple cider vinegar on a regular basis, you'll definitely like this. It's got a very uh, refreshing, light flavor, and I really, really like it. So that is uh, sparkling apple cider drinking vinegar. Very good. The other beverage I like from Trader Joe's is the sparkling coconut water. And I'm not sure how to pronounce this, if it's yuzu or yezu. It's some type of an exotic fruit. This tastes like, um, I want to say a cross between like 7-Up and... Maybe like cream soda mixed together. It's got a very light, again, sparkly, refreshing taste. Uh, these come in a box in a four pack for about $3. And I always pick this up whenever I go to Trader Joe's. It's delicious. Now, I think I've shared this one before. This is uh, my favorite tea from Trader Joe's, the spiced chai. I go through this so quickly. <laughs> And I usually go through like a box like every two weeks. Um, if you haven't tried Trader Joe's Spiced Chai Tea, then you need to try this, especially if you like chai. I use two tea bags per cup because I like my tea strong, but it's really, really good. And I've been drinking it for years, and I love it. And finally, I want to share with you an essential oil that I have been diffusing. This is called Christmas Spirit by Young Living. Of course, you don't have to buy this particular essential oil from Young Living, but we've been getting into the holiday mood here, and I've been diffusing this. And it's got like an orange cinnamony scent, which smells really, really good. Um, I saw something similar at... It was either Marshall's or TJ Maxx. But... Uh, I don't know. I like I said. I just feel like it's getting, getting us in the the festive mood and the festive spirit. So if you like essential oils, you might want to find something similar and start diffusing it because it really puts you in a good mood. And that is all of my favorites, at least right now for fall. And, yeah, I think that's it. So what are some of your favorite items this fall? I'd love to know. If you have any questions or comments about anything, feel free to drop it down in the comments section below. And if you're not subscribed, I do invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I do have a lot more videos to come. All right, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll definitely see you in the next video.